Hi Pisces, this is Power and Light Tarot, and this is going to be your reading. And this reading is really for your person, though. And this reading is behind the scenes on your person, okay? So we're trying to find out what your person is up to, uh, kind of give you, to give you some insight on them, right? And from the Lenormand here, guys, is the <laughs> is the park, the birds, the woman, the dog, the wishing well, and the birch broom. So I'm looking at this, and how I feel about this, Pisces, is that uh, regarding your person now, these could still be your energies, right? And it could be somebody else's energies, too, in case you were dealing with somebody who was dealing with you and somebody else, okay? So just a heads up there, guys. If you guys get a message here, please give a thumbs up, okay? And these readings, as I mentioned uh, right now, they can the, feel free to swap the characters, the energies. And these are generals, okay? So they may or may not resonate with everybody, okay, guys? Let's get into it, though. I feel like uh, the dog, and as I mentioned, I just called these cards out, guys, but there is, I feel like what's going on here is that there could be some communication via Facebook or Instagram or some type of social media here. This talks about going out, though, too. Like, it talks about public places, whether or not that is, you know, online or social media or in, like, in person, right, or just, you know, out and about. But next to the birds, this can talk about communication. So it's possible there's communication uh, online for your person, maybe here. Um, but also, uh, the woman is showing up, Pisces, and the dog, right? And this is your person's reading. So maybe they have another woman here. This could be you, right? And the wishing well. And also, we have the birch broom here. And this is the chaos and conflict here. So for me, there is somebody here that somebody is loyal to. Yeah, and somebody has a wish with the wishing well. They could be getting their wish, right? They could be getting their wish uh, coming true because that is typically what the card is about. And uh, let's see as we get into this reading, though, okay, how that kind of uh, wraps around you. All right, Pisces? And, and Cross Watcher. From the Enchanted Map Oracle is the Dry Desert card. Dry Desert card. And this talks about, like, adapting to situations, right? It could talk about, like, making the journey through difficult situations and trying to adapt. They could be trying to do this, right? Your person, right? And also, this can talk about, uh, it can talk about, like, if, if other things have dried up, other opportunities, you, somebody has to make a journey through the desert, like, to get kind of what they want here, right? Yeah, that's what they have to do. And they have to become adaptable, okay? Details, details, this is showing up, and we know what this is about. Somebody is, like, all in their head about details, right? I feel like they are. I feel like this reading is already about somebody making a journey here to, to try to be with who they are, who, who, who they want to be with, possibly, and this wish that they want, right? And, you know, they have to go through this desert, or they have to go through, like, a hard time, right, to get there. They have to make all kind of adapt, adap adaptions or adjustments, uh, adaptions or adaptations, okay. Uh, they have to adapt. <laughs> and the talisman is showing up here. And there are details involved, definitely, right? Let's look at the talisman here, because these are brand new cards for me. I kind of like them here. Yeah, they're kind of cool. And let's see what we got here for the talisman. Come, Mr. Taliman. Okay. A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. Okay. I guess the Taliman is, uh, or the Talisman, well, in the in the reggae song, right, is he says Talisman. But I feel like that, uh, maybe that is a, sh uh, a shame, uh, like a shaman or something like that. But it is about, I feel like if you've reached this Talisman, uh, status, maybe you are full of wisdom. I'm not really that familiar with Talisman. A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. Okay, so this is about, uh, you know, uh, gaining wisdom, right? And we know, uh, you know, wisdom is only gained through experience. Yeah, kids don't have wisdom, right? You have to live, you have to live through experiences to be wise, right? Exactly, and that's why we say old people are wise, right? Because they are, okay? So let's get into the reading, Pisces. And this is your person's reading, Okay. This is an interesting reading already because uh, somebody is trying to make some adjustments here to kind of get to their wish here. Yeah, they are. And uh, for your person here, somebody has all the tools they need. It's kind of like the magician, right? 
But the talisman is about having the wisdom here, right? This, these cards are interesting here, and the details are there. So somebody already has the wisdom. In your person's overall energy, uh, Pisces is the Six of Cups. Why is that Six of Cups there? And I'm going to pick up this other deck here, because I'm going to use this deck uh, in the extended here. And I feel like there is change here. Eight of Wands is showing up here. Let's get a card on the Six of Cups for Pisces person, please. Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see. So for me, there could be third-party energy here already because the Three of Cups is here. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is showing up here, which talks about kind of being single. There could be a third party here that is kind of rendering somebody single, right? Uh, maybe somebody has to adapt to the situation here. Wow. Kind of interesting here. And there is chaos and conflict because the birth broom is here. So this could set, seriously be a third party. I feel like in your person's energy here, uh, this is talking about they are trying to work it out with somebody from their past. This is how this is, how this is looking. Because the Six of Cups is their first card out, and this is all about somebody from the past, it is. And uh, I feel like this reading could be connected to Virgo's reading. It's a possibility because these cards look... Pretty similar. Why is that Ace of Swords there? This is their crossing energy or their challenge, um, Pisces, okay? You guys are getting the lowdown on your person, all right? <laughs> Page of Pentacles showing up here. Mm -hmm. In the extended, we're going to find out all about them, right? That is the tell-all in the extended about your person. King of Wands showing up here. Yeah, they could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries or Sag. This is even more like Virgo's reading, right? And, uh... This is their crossing energy. I feel like they want victory, and they want, yeah, and they want to have a new start, Page of Pentacles, with this King of Wands. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And they could be trying to, wow, this is interesting here. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. Three of Cups is the root, and this is why it's all happening, Pisces, for your person. Okay? Five of Swords. Wow, this is third-party energy all the way. Ten of Swords. So this is in their root here. This is why it's all happening. I feel like they want to reunite with somebody. That's like a third party, right? And this Five of Swords is all about chaos and conflict. This could be for you, Pisces. You could be walking away for some, from somebody to be with somebody from your past. It's a possibility. But this is still more of their reading than it is yours. And we see the Birch Broom in the reading. And the Birch Broom is, it, to me, it is identical to these Five of Swords, right? This guy's... Here is there's a, a whip and a broom, and here are some swords here. But it is they are both chaos and conflict. Wow. So let's see as we keep going here. Um, but yeah, there could be loss and sorrow here. Like the five of swords can be uh, it can be despair, right? Uh, despair and uh, loss, which could be sorrow for me, right? These two guys in the back are uh, one of them's crying. Yeah, one of because he they this guy took his swords and this guy is kind of maybe not to be trusted uh he's not a nice guy for sure okay so let's keep going in the recent past is the queen of pentacles pisces and this is your person's reading so this person could be an earth sign why is that queen of pentacles there for pisces person and we have the page of cups wheel of fortune wow and the queen of cups here so for me, uh, Pisces, wow, there could be, this is an interesting reading. I feel like what this is, is that you're dealing with somebody who has you in a third party, and they could be moving towards somebody from their past. Yeah, they could. Mm -hmm. And this person possibly could be a Sagittarian, right? And this is kind of, this could be kind of an ongoing situation for some of you Pisceans. Uh, this person here, I feel like you're dealing with an earth sign, and they could be dealing with a Sag, right? Wheel of Fortune, here, here you are. Uh, Pisces, I feel like, um, but this is in the recent past, and this person could be giving their cup to this per this uh, wheel of fortune because it is next to the wheel here to the Sag, and you are here, kind of on the outside, uh, Pisces. And these, you know, these, the order of the cards can be relevant. Yeah, they can, mm -hmm. definitely, where they kind of are in the reading as well. The Eight of Wands is what's crowning their thoughts. Why is that Eight of Wands there, please? King of Cups, Seven of Swords in the reverse. Mm -hmm. They could feel guilty over here, maybe about you, Pisces, King of Cups here. This could be, there could have been some serious past uh, sneaky energy showing up here, right, with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. 
talks about guilt and embarrassment maybe sometimes or it's just going to depend here but there was some kind of sneaky energy somebody could be feeling uh like guilty about it why is that let's see here nine of wands showing up yeah this is so this is what's crowding their thoughts they're 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 kind of guarded and jaded and they've already been through a battle um yeah you could have could have bopped them upside the head, Pisces, right? This person, maybe, because, you know, the, I feel like you've been dealing with somebody uh, super challenging for a long time. Wow. But what is crowding their thoughts is change. And it is regarding love here. Uh, they could be maybe worried here that somebody's not going to take them, maybe for their sneaky behavior. Because the Nine of Wands is looking right at the Seven of Swords. Wow. I feel like this person, what is crowding their thoughts, they could be... Uh, Concerned, maybe, right? Yeah, that somebody's not going to take them here. Maybe because they had you and this other person in a third party. Because this could be you over here, Pisces, King of Cups, showing up next to the Seven of Swords, and they're looking right at it. Wow. Could be love in general, too. Queen of Swords is in their near future. Why is the Queen of Swords there? Page of Swords in the near future. Knight of Swords. So in the near future for them, uh, Pisces, they're, they're, they're still trying to get some information here. Yeah, they are. And I feel like they could be trying to figure out uh, maybe when to take action and kind of what time here. Like, yeah, like when they need to move on, a, when they need to take action in a situation here. But they're all in their thoughts here. This is in the near future, right? This could be happening right now because the time is fluid in the tarot. Yeah, it is. So, uh, this is interesting here in the near future for them. You could be challenging them, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs more info. I mean, your person does... Um, Wow. I feel like they are, they are trying to figure out here something. Why is that Knight of Swords there? Why is the Knight of Swords there for them? The Sun. I feel like they are just all about discerning a matter. I feel like that's what they are doing. Details, details over here. Mm-hmm. Totally here. Yeah, and the Wisdom card is showing up. They're trying to use their wisdom here. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to use their their higher self, or, you know, maybe what they have learned here mm -hmm, in life, basically, or in relationships, too, in a union, right? Yeah. Let's get one more card on the sun. This is in their near future. Why is that sun there? They're trying to gain clarity big time. Yeah, that's why the sun is here. Wow. Eight of cups. Whoa. So this is what is uh, in their near future. I feel like they're moving away or they're moving on here. They're trying to find out some clarity here. They're trying to find out something that has to do with moving on. Yeah, and this is why they're in this uh, details, details. They're trying to, this is all about that. They're, they're going over, they could be going over something over and over in their mind. Okay, the justice card is showing up for them. And that is how they are seeing themselves. Why do they see themselves that way? This is for Pisces person. Five of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like they are seeing themselves possibly as going through a divorce. Yeah. When we see the Five of Pentacles next to the Justice card, this can be a divorce, right? Being left out in the cold because of a third party. That's how they are seeing themselves. They could be uh, getting a divorce themselves here for some of you guys. This is a little bit of a tough read, but a little bit of insight here. Uh, hopefully. Why is that... Ten, nine of Pentacles is in their environment. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in Pisces person's environment? Ten of Wands, wow. Two of Pentacles. I feel like they are in their environment here. They're thinking it's uh they are thinking it's a burden here to become single. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They could be trying to balance themselves here. And this could be you, maybe, Pisces, in their environment. Maybe you are feeling this burden here because they are becoming single here. And vice versa, guys. It can go both ways. Why is that two of pentacles there, right? This whole story could match, but it could be... This could be your energy here and about them, maybe. Why is that two of pentacles there? I feel like it's switched, but, you know, it could be either way. Six of uh, wands. This is in their environment. 
I feel like what this is is that somebody's trying to figure out here how to have victory here, become single, but there is a burden here in the environment. Yeah. Nine of Cups is their hopes and fears. Let's see what they are hoping for or what they're afraid of, Pisces. Your person, your challenging person here. Surprise the. Yeah. Surprise some other cards here. Is it, well, the Seven of Swords is in this reading. Mm -hmm. Why is that Nine of Cups there? Why is that their hopes and fears? The Hermit. This person is probably a Virgo that you're dealing with, uh, Pisces, because. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like, is somewhere, yeah, it is, mm -hmm. in the recent past. The Queen of Pentacles is is their first card out in the recent past. So a lot of you guys are dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Two of Wands, and this is in the Hopes and Fears. They're afraid, I feel like they're hoping that their decision here is, you know, I feel like they're choosing between two people. This is how I'm seeing this reading. Somebody from their past. They could be hoping that this person will still be there for them. Let's see. Let's see. Why is that two of wands there? They could be hoping their decision is going to work out here. Why is that two of wands there? Why is it their hopes and fears? This is for Pisces person. The emperor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five of wands. Yeah, I feel like they're hoping that their decision here, or hoping that they can, like, kind of uh, orchestrate a new beginning for themselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. And move forward with this person who I feel is uh, from a third party, five of wands. I also feel like your person feels like they are kind of like struggling in a way. Remember, they had the nine of wands uh, somewhere in this reading here. Yeah, they did. Where's that nine of wands at? Right, right here. Mm-hmm. Over here. This is, yeah, this is their, they're jaded, they're guarded. This is them. I don't think, this could be you, Pisces, but I'm feeling this is them. Mm-hmm. Now, I feel like your person is hoping that their decision is going to kind of like, you know, that they can work it out for themselves, the emperor. They can set things in motion and kind of, you know, go about their life here. I feel like that's the case here because I feel like they're cho they could be choosing a third party, but I feel like they are in a struggle. We're going to find out here, uh, Pisces, all about your person, your challenging person, I, I, I feel like I, I should say. We're going to find out uh, the underlying energies between you guys and how they really feel about you. What is blocking you to, okay, and maybe how to better navigate that. What they're hiding, Pisces, uh, what they don't want you to know, what they're fearing, and, uh, and the actions, the potential outcome for your person, okay, or their true intentions. We're going to find out on uh, Vimeo. And all those extensions, Pisces, are super affordable. Thank you so much for watching. If you got a message, please give a thumbs up. The best way is to get your own reading, right? Thanks so much, guys.